business. And today I'm going to be talking about how to double your business income. I'm going to give you three tips to double your income. And before I give you the three things that you can do that I know work to double your income in the next 30 or 60 days, okay, depending on where you are in your business, all right, um, I'll be sharing with you some really great things for you to think about. Do you know what a key performance indicator is? If you know what a key performance indicator is in business, type in right now, John, I know what a key performance indicator is, or better yet, let me know, what is a key performance indicator? Every business is a combination of science and math and art, right? A little bit of science and math at, and art. Hi there, Coach Sonia, or Sony, Sonny? Coach Sonny, sorry. Um, I don't have my glasses on, Sonny, so it's like Sonia, Sonny, I don't know. Uh, let me know that you can see me and you can hear me first and foremost. So if you can, just type in, John, I can hear you and see you. All right, hi there, Arun Patel. Now let me know where are you from? Shine your light. What's a KPI? What's a key performance indicator in business, all right? So today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you three things that you need to be doing. I don't care what kind of business you're, you're in, but three things you can be doing to at least 2X your sales and revenues. Um, thank you, loud and clear. So Shanti McIntyre, nice to have you in the house, my friend, and I'm glad you joined the Business Breakthrough Challenge. Hi there, Pauline. All right, so um, in business, let me ask you a question. And the more you engage with me, the easier it is for me because I'm reading your comments in real time. Hi there, Fred, and hi there, Renata, and hi there, uh, Worko. All right, so um, would you agree that if you take a look at, let's say, somebody's bank account, let's say your business bank account, and let's say there's X amount of money in the bank account, X amount of money in the bank account, would you agree that the amount of money in the bank account is an effect? It's an effect. Would you agree if you look at somebody's physique, it's an effect, right? Could be effect of hormones, could be effect of genetics, could be effect of their diet, could be effect of their exercise routine or lack thereof. So would you agree that every result in business, the one you like, the one you don't like, the stuff the results you're getting or not getting, those are effects. Would you agree with that premise? Yes, Coach Sonny? Okay, so before there's an effect, there has to be a cause, right? Before there's an effect, there has to be a cause, right? So that's, I mean, simple, right? I know this is not rocket science, so don't judge me based on that, but I just wanna set a frame for us. So. What is a key performance indicator? So let's say you own a store. I'm just gonna give you a simple analogy so you have a visual. You own a store in a shopping center. And let's say that five people come into the store and nobody buys. And then another five people come into the store and again, nobody buys. And 20 more people come into the store and then still nobody buys. Now, as a store owner, wouldn't you ask yourself, how come people are coming into my store and nobody is buying? So either there's gonna be a problem with the products that we offer in the store. There may be a problem with how we are displaying the products. There may be a problem with the price, right? So if, people are not buying, that means that it's not a traffic problem, it's something else. Now, a key performance indicator, KPI, is something that lets you know that if you do this, the results are gonna take care of themselves. Does that make sense? So a key performance indicator, one key performance indicator for Every single business, I don't care if you are a small business owner just starting out, or if you are a multi-billion or trillion dollar company. One thing that you have to focus on is people coming to take a look at your products or services. Would you agree with that? So a key performance indicator for every business owner who's just starting out is 
How am I going to get people, people out there, <clears throat> friends, families, uh, how am I going to get people to at least look at my products or services? Does that make sense fundamentally? I'm going to share with you some deeper level stuff. But fundamentally, if you are a business owner, would you agree? And this is a yes or yes answer that you must or somebody on your team must not should, not could, not to be nice to, but must focus on how do I get more people to at least look for, you know, look at, sorry, my products or services. So a key performance indicator for every business is how do I get more people to look at my product or services? Forget about price, forget about packaging, forget about anything else, but the first key performance indicator that you must figure out, and I assume you have a product or a service that you either already have or you're thinking of, but a key performance indicator for every business, how many people did you get to at least see or talk about your product or service? So. Question for each one of you is, are you focusing every single day on getting more people to look at your products or services? Are you getting more people to look every day, whether it's online or offline, referrals in meetings or paid media or organic, it doesn't matter. Are you focusing enough time on getting more people to at least see your product or services. Now, I'm gonna give you some tips that if you wanna double your income and sales in the next 30 days, I'm gonna give you a few tips of how to do that. Will that help? Will that help? Will that help you? Come on, give me some, give me some love in here. I wanna, I like, I like to get some feedback. If you can hear me and see me on Instagram, give me a like or a love or give me a comment. All right, so I at least know that you are, you got a heartbeat going, right? All right, Leonid, hello. Nice to see you. And then on we're on YouTube and Facebook, and we're in the Achievers community. All right, my private community for all the amazing Achievers. So I'm streaming live on one, two, three, four, five platforms right now. That's called leverage, okay? So here is... A tip, tip number one. I've got it written up on my on my screen. Okay, why do you want to see my my little setup here? Look, so I've got my camera here and my um, my uh, phone right there, and my little camera set up there. And there is the agenda for the day and your questions that you put in. That's just a little setup for all of you for what I do here that have been joining me every day. I've been doing a live session just about every day in the last six, seven days leading up to my business breakthrough challenge that starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Many of you have already signed up. Um, and for those of you that haven't, I'll give you some more information, but there's a link in my in the bios. But here is number one. Every single day, if you have a business, I want you to create one, at least one piece of content that is relevant to the benefits of your product or service, or that is relevant to the pain or fear or frustration or irritation or the wants, needs, aspirations, or desires of your ideal client. So number one, every day, a little piece of content. I'll tell you what to do with it in just a moment. But you have to create some content that you start to stand out from everybody else who's not creating any content. And I don't care if you're a dry cleaner. I don't care if you're an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer. If you can create or have content created for you, and there's plenty of online services that can do it efficiently, um, inexpensively, but what you have to do is for that brand that you represent, your product or service, you have to lift your brand up that is higher than other people who may be competing with you 
And what that does is it creates a preeminent position for your dry cleaner, your engineer, your coaching business. What is your method of creating content so that people see you above your competition? So what tool can you offer them? What technique, what advice can you offer them? What is it that you can share? And here is a little trick, okay? Are you ready for a little trick? Do you like little tricks? Write down what are the 10 most frequently asked questions that people always ask me about my product or service. What are the 10 most frequently asked questions that people uh, ask me? Then you can create some written answers to those questions and disseminate you know, one per day. There's 10 days. You can actually create a video of that content and then put it on YouTube. You can create micro pieces of that content, put it on Instagram stories, Facebook stories, and even TikTok from just the answer to one question. Now I have one question that a lot of people ask me. Now I can create content for LinkedIn, for YouTube, for TikTok, for Instagram, for Facebook, and I can create, if I wanted to, little memes on Pinterest if I want to. So if you had 10 questions and 10 well thought out answers, now you can create content just based on those 10 questions. Number two, what are the 10 questions people should ask you but don't? What are the 10 questions they should ask you but don't? Hey there, Marco, nice to see you. What are the 10 questions they should ask you but don't? Now you create content. Now you have enough content for 30, 40, 50 days. Now, if you don't want to create the content yourself, you can go to Upwork. Upworks, is it Upworks or Upwork? Upwork. Upwork.com, Upwork.com. And you can hire people all over the world to do the research and create the content for you if you don't want to do it. So 10 questions they do ask you, 10 questions they should ask you. And then what if you did, let's say webinars or training like this? I'm using StreamYard right now to broadcast to five different platforms at once. Now I've got leverage on all of the social media channels. So I took a topic today All right. You know how to double your income in business and three things you can do. All right. Fiverr as well. Thank you, Daniel. So Upworks.com or Upwork.com, Fiverr.com. You can get stuff done. Um, And now I'm giving you content to build trust, to build rapport, to build uh, expertise. Right. So what is your job as the CEO? And I'm going to tie in the content as to how you're going to double your income. So let's say you create content every single day. And you take that content and you disseminate it. It takes about one hour a day to get it on all of the different social media uh, channels. And then what if you invited maybe your email list to look at that? What if you told your friends about it? What if you started to connect with the people who read it and commented on it so you can create a following? Now, is it true that in order for us to feel safe buying from somebody, the first thing we want to know is, do I trust this person? Can this person's product or service help me? All right. Will their suggestions, product or service work for me? How long will it take? How much does it cost? These are the questions people are asking in their heads, right? This is the real dialogue of what people are asking in their heads. And so if I'm creating content and then people are looking at that content and I can either do organic uh, content or I can create content and then I could boost the content or spend $5 or $10 a day to get more people that I want to see the content who want and need my product or service, Then I can get them to see it by paying a little bit of money, $5, $10 a day maybe. Then once they see it and they comment, then I can start engaging with them. Now 
As soon as I start engaging them, if I can get people in the first 10 minutes to comment on what I am sharing, it opens up the algorithms on every social media challenge or every social media channel. And then if they comment and then there's a response to them, now there's a dialogue that's happening. So what if you created content, you dialogue with people, could you create a simple process where you invest an hour a day, getting the information that you have out there, building relationships, and then, and then saying, hey, tell me more about what you need. Do you want to eliminate this? Do you want to reduce this? Do you want to uh, have more of this, less of that? Then you're in a dialogue with real human beings, and this is just using social media. Right? Does this make sense so far? So how do you double your income? The answer is you double at least the amount of people. The key performance indicator is you double the number of people who become aware of your product or service. And you do that by creating content that is relevant and up to date for them. Does that make sense? So a key performance indicator, which is what we started on before, okay, is I have to make sure no matter what, that I am in a dialogue with more people, right? With more people, right? So why, you know, why have I been coming on here every day instead of, you know, once a week like I normally do? Well, I'm sharing content information with you and I'm focusing it on business owners because tomorrow I have a business breakthrough challenge that's starting that I'm going to teach business owners how to master their own mindset first. So you eliminate the self image issues that may be holding you back or the fears that are holding you back or the uncertainty that's holding you back and teach them how to create lead generation systems to generate more prospects, how to create the right marketing messaging and sales processes so that people get into your, what I call your orbit, and then they walk through until they buy from you or they buy from you later. Does that make sense? So if you wanna sign up for the Business Breakthrough Challenge, um, there's a link in my Instagram bio. It starts tomorrow. There's either a uh, general admission um, uh, and it's $47 or there's a VIP which is $144 and the general admission gives you access to the training every day. It's over a five business day period of time and you're gonna get a PowerPoint, workbook, a private community to be in. And if you have the VIP option, which I think we only have about uh, 30 spots left, um, then you also get to be on a Zoom call with me after the general session to ask questions via video um, uh, with me and the other people in the VIP. So the information's in there. I'll be going through neuromarketing and neuro sales techniques and strategies so that you can differentiate yourself from the competition so people buy from you instead of them. I'll teach you an entire framework, whether you're new in business or you're doing a million dollars a year already, I'll teach you an entire framework to get your sales and marketing done right, either by you or somebody else so that you are an educated, smarter entrepreneur, all right? and. Um, so that would be great. So the links my team uh, are putting up, uh, many of you have been here for, for many, many days in a row. Um, and so join the Business Breakthrough Challenge today. We start tomorrow morning at nine o'clock Pacific, 12 o'clock New York, five o'clock in London. And it will literally give you everything you need to double, triple, quintuple your income in the next 12 months, all right? So first tip was we need more leads. One of the ways we do that is create more content. Number two tip, was that we want to create an engagement rhythm or cadence, okay? An engagement rhythm or cadence. And then the next thing that you have to do is this. You have to map out a sales process map. What is that? Hi there, Emic. Nice to see you on. So you have to create a sales process map. I have coached over 10 thousand business owners. Now, do you know one of the things that is missing from all of them? They don't have a sales process that is reliable, duplicatable, 
and predictable. Reliable, duplicatable, and predictable. So what is a sales process? Do you know what a sales process is or a sales process map is? Do you know what a sales process map is? All right, hey there, Maxim. I'm glad that you are joining the Business Breakthrough Challenge. You are a rock star as always, right? Hey, Albert, I'm glad you're joining. So what is a reliable, duplicatable sales process map? Do you know what that is? When any company is serious about growth, then they do something called, if this, then what? Right, somebody type this in, if this, then what? So if this, then what? So if I create content and somebody engages and I get them on a, on a call and they show up, then what am I going to say and do? If somebody engages in my content and they set up a phone call, let's say, and they don't show up, what am I going to do? If they buy, then what? If they don't buy, then what? If they take action here, but don't take action there, then what? It is a pre-thought out process that you create in advance. You create it in advance, so that you understand that there's a process that you are using for lead generation, which we talked a lot about yesterday. Here are the things that I'm doing to generate leads and interests and prospects. Here are the things I'm doing to qualify those prospects to make sure that they want, need, and can afford what I have. Here is my offer, my irresistible offer to convert them to being a paying customer. And if they don't buy, here is what I'm going to do today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day after that. That is a sales process that you think about in advance and then you generate leads and you start to observe behavior to see what are people actually doing? Are they engaging with the content? Yes, if yes, great, create more content like that. Are they not engaging with the content? No, why? What can I tweak and adjust? So we create a sales process map that then you can actually tweak to get higher engagement, better content, better qualified people, more conversions or sales, and then nurturing sequences that you can automate to do the work for you. So you observe, yes, Verities, you observe the behavior, but you have to create an assumption sales process first. Now, what do you think would happen if you started to actually focus on building your business like a serious business owner instead of like a hobby? If you build your business like a business owner, it'll pay you like a business owner. If you build your business like it's a hobby, it'll cost you like a hobby. Does that make sense? Business is a little science, a little art, right? And it can be a predictable road to financial freedom. But if you're not thinking, okay, like an entrepreneur, then guess what's going to happen? You're going to possibly be one of the 87% that just go out of business, not because it's not possible to grow your business. It's because you don't have the right process in place. All right? You don't have the right process in place. So if you want to discover the right process for marketing, for sales, for mental focus, for emotional management of yourself and how to activate the awareness circuit in somebody's brain, how to activate the, the desire circuit in somebody's brain, how to set aside the fear, uncertainty, doubt circuit in your prospect's brain so they pay attention to you and they buy from you instead of your competition, then the $47 
that I'm asking you to invest in yourself will be the best $47 you have spent in the last five years. And if you want the VIP experience, it's worth thousands of dollars to you when you learn it and apply it. The reason you are achieving the results you are achieving right now in business is only one of two things. One, you know what to do and you're not doing it. We'll fix that. Two, you don't know what to do, so you're just spinning your wheels, focusing on the trivial many things instead of the critical few, the little hinges that swing the big doors. And so yesterday I asked, you know, uh, people, are you interested in building your business or are you committed? So if you are committed, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, many of you know this. I don't like to, to say this all the time, um, but I, I've built five multi-million dollar businesses from scratch to as much as four and a half billion a year in sales, 1,200 salespeople, 85 offices. Uh, we were the uh, the largest distributor, you know, or, or the number one real estate company in Indiana, built another company, Bamboo.com. We we're the largest virtual tour company in the world. If you ever looked at a home on the internet, moved left, right, up or down, or in a car in a hotel, that was our technology. I took that public in 1998. Uh, built the Life Success Institute, built one coach that went bankrupt. Uh, so I have some failures to learn from as well and to teach you about what not to do about partnerships specifically. Then I've got Neurogym. Uh, we spend millions a year in advertising and figuring out what works on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and, and LinkedIn. I'll be sharing what works and what to do and what doesn't work and what not to do regardless of your budget or where you're at. I'm going to give you a blueprint to follow so that you can scale predictably and so you can save time and money and energy and make more money so that you can finally have your business that works for you. So my team's putting the links uh, in there for you. If you want to learn, great. Uh, if you're serious about business growth, I can help. If you're not serious, nobody can. So that's uh, totally up to you. So um, I've gone for 30 minutes on some killer content create content daily, get that on all the platforms in the variety of different ways that I showed you how to do this, create engagement, create a sales process map so you can move people from the social media, okay, into a sales process that you can observe the behaviors and then adjust the points until you have the winning formula, okay? Hey, Dagmar, hi there, Facebook user, not sure who you are, but you are in. So how many of you are in? I'm seeing a lot of people on this side here. Um, that have joined the Business Breakthrough Challenge. What about Instagram? Are you guys on Instagram joining me? I love Instagram and uh, YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn. And for those of you in the Achievers program, um, if you have a business, this is something you absolutely must do. All right, so let me ask, answer some questions, all right? All right. Uh, so why uh, from YouTube, NZG24, is it possible to make a marketing seminar for therapists? Our product is not visible, so I think it's hard for therapists to do marketing. Um, yeah, I work with massage therapists, with uh, um, every type of therapist there is has been through our program. So if you're in business, you have to get good at marketing, right? And so you're either going to get good at marketing online or offline or both. So absolutely. Uh, Supriya Bhatia, what percentage of my revenue um, should be profits? Should I pump into marketing for your dental practice? Um, Supriya, uh, it depends on what stage you are in your business, right? So is your practice full? Okay, if your practice is full and you have no more room for growth, then you don't need to be spending a lot of money on marketing. But the great news about your practice as a dentist is that once you build your practice up to a certain number of clients and those clients come back and you have a referral program in place, right? Then you don't have to spend a lot of money on marketing. You can spend money on expansion into another location if that's what you want or in having other dentists work for you. So the percentage of the money that you spend on the front end is to build, okay, the machine that consistently generates more leads that are qualified that you can convert. And, and um, Dr. Badia, I know that you're in the Business Breakthrough Challenge, and so we'll go into that a little bit deeper. 
All right. Um, let's go. Phil Gordon, are there certain scripts that can be used that are applicable to any industry for attracting your ideal client? Uh, yeah, Phil, and I think you are, um, you're in the business breakthrough challenge. I think I saw your name that you signed up. Um, when we're talking about scripting, okay, when we're talking about scripting, and Phil, you talk about scripting for your website, scripting for your landing pages, scripting for brochures, or you talk about scripting, all right, um, when you are talking one on one with somebody or one to a group, all right? By the way, are you enjoying this? Let me know, hit the love button, all right? So, Phil, I need to understand that. So, um, all scripting, think about this all scripting comes from understanding the psychology of your prospect, who is your ideal prospect. And many of you may remember from yesterday, I showed you a graph that says, you know, there's 5% of people that are ready to buy what you have right now. 15% need to be educated, okay, to get into that buying mode. And then 80% really don't care about your product or service. So all of your scripting, all of your language patterns depending on your sales process, are for people who want to buy right now and then the people who are in the second circle, the 15% move them into that circle. So let me, let me share with you something, right? Um, many of you, I'm asking you if you want to go deeper and you want to sign up now for the Business Breakthrough Challenge, I'm giving you links to do it right now. So I'm giving those of you who are serious about your business, who want help, who, who are willing to invest in themselves, to upgrade their knowledge, to do the right things and to get all the little secrets of neuromarketing and neurosales, I'm asking you to sign up right now. And there are many of you that have been doing it over the last week. There's another group of you that are like, well, who is this John Asraf guy? What is this business breakthrough challenge? Um, I will, uh, you know, I will listen in uh, and let me see, right? Okay, great. So many of you are in my orbit where I'm keeping you in the orbit. I've been doing the same sessions, um, uh, you know, every day, almost the same time for the last seven days to give you more trust, more knowledge, more skills to show you that you're in the right place if you want to grow your business and I can help you. So some of you signed up right away. Some of you needed a little bit more time to build trust, rapport, and to make sure that this is right for you. And then you make a decision. And then 80% of you couldn't give a hoot about what I'm talking about and you're just interested. Some of you are bored right now. Some of you are like, this is not relevant to me. Some of you are you know, busy doing other things while I am sharing and some of you are like, wow, this is great stuff. So this is part of the process, right? So this is part of the process of what you have to create for yourself. So when we are creating language or marketing, we have to meet people where they are, but we must know who they are. We must know what I call are the pains, fears, frustrations, irritations, wants, needs, and aspirations, and goals and desires. I have to know those 10 things. So I need to know those things so I can talk about those things, right? And meet you where you are and then help you get to the next level. So, you know, many years ago, my mentor says, I can't help you unless you want help. Nobody can help you unless you want help. Unless you're prepared to say, there's a lot I don't know. And in order for me to achieve my goals, I need to know more Then nobody can help you. I mean, I can't help you. And so if you're here to waste time, yours, not mine, uh, that's okay. If you're here to learn, that's okay too. If you're here because you want to sign up for the business breakthrough challenge and you want to grow your business faster and easier, I can help you. All right. So Phil, all your scripts need to be created from the pains, fears, frustrations, irritations, wants, needs, aspirations, goals, and desires. And then Maxim is saying, I've been in John's orbit for a while. It works Built a nice rental business for the last 10 years to 250,000 a year. His system works, go VIP if you can, well worth every penny. Love this guy. Maxim, I love you too. Nice to see you here. And thank you for sharing that. Um, okay, so that was Phil Gordon. Kelly Go uh, Gormley, do you have experience with compliance? This can be a challenge in the financial services industry. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of experience with compliance in the insurance and financial industry. Um, 
So um, uh, I have worked with uh, very, very large financial institutions uh, in understanding what they can say and cannot say. But understand one thing, Kelly, when we are dealing with human psychology, human emotions and human behavior, how you say what you need to say is critical, right? So when we are marketing, especially neuromarketing and neurosales, which is what I will be sharing in the marketing section is how to access the parts of your brain, of, the, of your prospect's brain, so that A, you activate their attention and awareness switch, B, you activate the emotional switch, and then C, you activate the logical brain that justifies why they should buy from you and your product or service. If you don't know that, then you're probably doing marketing at the kindergarten or high school uh, level. And I'll be teaching you for any level of your business how to do it at the pro level. And you don't have to be at the pro level to do marketing at the pro level as far as what you say and how you say it and when you say it, right? Okay. Hi, uh, Lacey. Hi there, Lacey. I only use Facebook to reach my audience to keep things simple. It seems that all of the same people that are on Facebook are on all the other platforms. How do you stay competitive? Well, um, the reason that all the other, so think about this, Lacey. Why am I right now, like look, right? I am streaming on those channels and I'm streaming on Instagram right now, okay? So why is it, by the way, for those of you on Instagram, look, I'll show you this, right? So I'm streaming there. And then I've got my setup over here also of all of your questions, right? So why am I streaming on, oops, that of course was gonna happen. So why am I streaming, Lacey, on all three channels? Um, I'm doing the same work, but I'm just using technology to stream, to reach a bigger audience on all the different channels. So I'm working once, but I'm being effective. And so Lacey, People that are on Facebook may not want Instagram. People that are on Instagram may not use Twitter. People that are on, um, you know, on LinkedIn may not be on these channels. So why not get the same content to the people with like one click of a button, right? Or five minutes of work to cut and paste. So it's just about efficiency, Lacey. And if you want to be competitive, you want to reach more people. So instead of talking to 100 people, I'll reach 20,000 today. Right? Does that make sense, Lacey? Some guy says, is it true that you're only working with people whose businesses is already up and running? Um, there's two types of businesses um, that I work with. Either people who are starting a business want to know how to do it right. They are joining the Business Breakthrough Challenge or people that already have a business that just want to accelerate their growth and make it easier. Zazzy Cat Soap, what is the best tip for interacting with customers face-to-face -face in a retail brick and mortar setting? So Zazzy Cat, um, one of the biggest mistakes that I have seen over the years um, is this. Um, two days ago when I was teaching a little bit about selling, I, had, uh, I asked a question, I'm gonna ask a question uh, again. Um, if somebody is being too salesy, do you move towards them or move away from them? All right. So if somebody's like, yeah, you need to buy this and you're crazy if you don't and blah, 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 blah. And they just go on and on and on. They won't shut up about them, you know, trying to sell you. Right. And you feel something's like, stop that already. Right. So. Everybody wants to buy, right? Things that they want or need, but not everybody wants to be sold. Nobody really wants to be sold. So a couple things that you need to be think about in your marketing and in your selling face-to-face -face or online or offline, all right, is, is my marketing causing people to move towards to find out more or is my marketing or selling causing people to move away? Because it's like, get get off me. So Zazzy Cat Soap Company, when somebody walks into your store, okay, what do you think will work best? A, hi, are you coming here to buy something specific? 
or B, hi, my name is John. If there's anything I can help you with, please don't hesitate to ask. And goes about doing his own thing or her own thing. Which one do you think will cause more people to move towards you? When you walk into a store and somebody says, hey, are you here to buy anything specific? Are you looking for jeans? Are you looking for a shirt? Are you looking for a purse? Are you looking for, for a jacket? Like, what are you looking for? Which one, that or the second one? Hi, my name is John. If there's anything I can help you with and answer any questions, please know I'm at your service. Which one do you think, right? Which one do you think works best? I can guarantee you two to one, three to one, four to one, the second way. So when you're interacting with people, remember it's another human being. And we don't like to be pressured. We don't like to be sold. We don't want to be told what to do. We want to be offered the opportunity when we come into an environment where I don't trust you, like you, or believe you. We want just to know that I'm walking into a store that has service if I need it. Now, in tests that we have done, all right, with clients of ours many years ago, I'm telling you the, the approach of I'm here to serve you, let me know how I can, right? And Maxim, you're 100% right. Welcome them into your store. If you have a store like you would into your home. Now, if you were coming into my home, you know, when I was a kid growing up, my mother would greet you at the door with some tea and some cookies. So maybe maybe you wanna do that. So hi there, Tracy Taylor. All right, so that's Zazzy Cat. I'm gonna answer two more questions and then uh, I'll share with you. I have an entire list of what we are gonna be going through in just five days on the Business Breakthrough Challenge. It is an exhaustive list, which is gonna be amazing. There'll be PowerPoints, there'll be little workbooks, there'll be a little bit of homework, so you can um, uh, really make progress in a five-day period of time, business days. So Slida Monaz, I wanna start a business, I don't know what to do. Start a business around something that you're passionate about, a product or service you're passionate about. Don't do a business because you wanna make money. If you're not passionate about it, you won't get great at it. All right, that's for you. And then Thomas Ackermark, what would you say that motivation is the key factor for success? Would you say that motivation is the key factor for success? Um, so there's two types of motivations, right? There is intrinsic and extrinsic. Anybody know what the difference is? What's intrinsic motivation? versus what's extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation. And I'll tell you what I, what I, um, what I recommend, right? <laughs> Your brain already hurts, Lacey, with all the information. I can go on for days on this. 40 years of business, you know, growing businesses and helping 10,000 business owners have accumulated a little bit of knowledge. So what's intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation? So extrinsic motivation is I'm doing it because of her, because of him, because of that external motivation. You know, um, intrinsic motivations, I'm doing it because it's my passion. I'm doing it because, you know, it, it fulfills me. I'm doing it because I wanna challenge myself to reach new highs. I'm doing it because I wanna generate enough income to take care of my family, to be able to give money to charities and to travel around the world. Those are important things to me. So you need both, um, but intrinsic, why you're doing it for you is more important than doing it for other people or things. So if you can get intrinsic motivation, um, it's a much better motivator. And so think about this, motivation, okay? What does that word mean? It means my motive for action, motivation, motive for action. So if your motive for action is intrinsic, you're gonna do what you need to do. And I will show you how to get your brain and your heart and your emotions and your gut aligned so that you can take inspired action every day, every week, every month, so that you can be bigger than your uncertainty and your fears and your doubts and your, you know, your, your uh, being worried about being embarrassed or ashamed or ridiculed or judged. I'll show you how to win the inner game and I'll show you how to win the outer game. Does that help, Thomas? Okay, so um, before I answer two more questions, um, 
have I earned your right to share with you a deep understanding of what we are going to be covering in this business breakthrough challenge. So here's what I'm gonna let you know. Uh, if you wanna know more about it and you haven't signed up yet, stick around. If you don't, thank you for joining. You can leave now, I'm totally fine with that, but I'll let you know, I'm gonna share with you a detailed map of what we're gonna be covering over a five day period of time. It's 90 minutes a day or so for the general admission and it's gonna be about three and a half hours a day for the VIPs where we're gonna be doing uh, action. So uh, I'm going to give you the option to exit stage left or stick around. So the business breakthrough challenge, why did I create it? Too many business owners don't know what the heck they're doing. They just don't know what they're doing. They're working hard. I get that, but they're working hard doing the wrong things. So there are what I call our critical few things that when you do those, you have great impact. And when you don't do them, your business suffers. And it's not that you're not busy. It's you're just busy doing the wrong things or you're not doing them effectively. So in day number one, now I'm going to uncover my glasses to help me read a little bit better, okay? So now I can share with you. On day one, we're gonna be focusing on understanding your brain and the neuroscience of marketing uh, and sales. So I'm gonna show you how do you get focused how do you activate the five different parts of your brain so that you're motivated, inspired, and you take action on the right things? I will show you how to use neuromarketing and neurosales. Now, what is neuromarketing and neurosales? It's simply creating marketing that activates the key parts of a prospect's brain so that they, A, you have to get people to pay attention to you because there's so many messages going on in the marketplace right now. B, you've got to get them not just to pay attention to you, but you've got to get them to stay focused on your product or service and how it will help them. And then C, you've got to create a process that is easy for their brain, which wants to get distracted go away. So I will show you how to do that and I will show you the priority of your prospects brains and how to create your marketing and sales so that you go along the priority arc so that it's natural and easy. That alone, okay, I charge my clients $10,000 an hour to teach them just that. So you're going to learn all about that. And the reason I could do this is I'm going to be teaching this one to many instead of one on one. And then many of you can see behind me, there's an Einstein brain or an Einstein image there. And there's a little Frankenstein's monster back there. And why do I have Einstein and Frankenstein behind me? Well, every one of us has a part of our brain called the Einstein brain. And every one of us has another part of our brain called the Frankenstein's part of the brain. And when Frankenstein brain is activated, we do not want to take action. But when the Einstein brain is activated, we move towards what we want. I will show you how to get those two activated in their brain. Okay, that's just on day one. All right. And then on day number two, would you agree would you agree that not everybody needs or wants what you have right now, right? Maybe your product or service can help a lot of people, but not everybody needs or wants what you have right now. So would it be beneficial, all right, would it be beneficial to understand who the best prospects are for you and would it be helpful to understand exactly how to find them and target just those people? The people in the 5%, the 50% group that I shared with you earlier? I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do that so it's methodical, it's organized, and you don't waste time. All right? So I'm going to show you how to create content specifically for those people. And that's on day number two. That's, and I'm, and I'm not giving you all the stuff we're gonna be covering. Uh, and again, there'll be PowerPoints, there'll be workbooks, you're gonna get those. There'll be a little bit of homework each day. We're gonna review the homework, okay, in the community. You're gonna have 
thousand people in there that are going to help you look uh, at your stuff. You'll look at theirs and we're going to create some incredible uh, masterminds in there that you can have accountability partners if you like. And you might even be able to uh, find people who buy your product or service. Who knows? All right. So that's just on day two. On day number three, um, I'm going to show you how to develop all of your marketing content for your website, your landing pages, and anything that you're doing. So uh, every company needs a core marketing message. Every company needs, okay, a theme for what they need to be creating. So I will show you how to create some, some hooks. I'll show you how to create some uh, copy, marketing copy, so that you upgrade your marketing skills, okay? So that's on day number three. Um, on day number four, we're going to take a look. Now that you have, okay, your mindset, right, and your own emotional state, right? Now that you have your avatar and how to market to them, uh, now that you have your messaging, now I'm going to show you all of the different places that you could actually be doing marketing to generate more prospects, leads, and sales. I'll show you where they are, okay? So uh, I'll show you paid traffic sources where you have to invest a little bit of money and unpaid traffic or prospect sources, all right? I'll show you some of the best material that we are using right now to advertise on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. I'll show you what we're doing that works, that generates tens of thousands of leads every month, okay? And I've got over a million followers on my, you know, on my social media and in our database. So I'll show you our top performers so you can like see what we're doing and then just say, I'm just going to copy that. I'm just going to copy that. I'm just going to copy that. So you'll be able to see what is working. That's on day four. Then on day five, this is like a mini MBA program for business growth. On day five, um, I will show you. Remember earlier I talked about you've got to create a sales process. I will show you how to create a sales process. I will give you templates for you to copy and paste to create your own. And then you will actually post your sales process. You will create one on day five in the community. So you will actually have like a really good small beginning of a plan uh, for that. And so we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, and um, I'll give you the worksheets to do all that. So every day builds upon the last day and takes the best of what you need in the shortest amount of time to level up your knowledge and skills as a, an entrepreneur. Now, I want you to understand this, okay? For some of you, okay, you just need to know what needs to be done so that when you get other people to help you, you know how to do it right versus hoping they know and you're ignorant, right? Ignorant doesn't mean you're stupid. Ignorance just means you don't know. So I'm going to show you what it needs to look like done right. So if you're hiring people or you're bartering with people or you're partnering with people, then you'll know what done right looks like. How much is that worth not to make those mistakes, right? And then for others, you're going to be doing the work, right? So either way, if you have a business, you need to know what needs to be done right. Um, and either you're going to do it or somebody else is going to do it, right? That's So that's what we're going to do. And so we're going to have an enormous amount of fun. It'll be very, very fast paced, very you know, and we're recording everything. So if you're in the general admission, which is $47, you'll have access to the to the material, the workbooks and the videos for 30 days to access them. If you're in the VIP, you get everything, the PowerPoints, the workbooks, and you get the videos for life. Each of the options, VIP and, um, and, um, uh, and general um, is, um, is some is is what you need. It's not something that somebody else needs. It's what you need, you know, to really get your business to the next level. So if you want to double or triple or five x your income in the next three to twelve months, then sign up today. Today is like the last day you can sign up. Tomorrow we go live, and Mary, it's a lot of the right info that you need. So it's not just information. 
It's the exact strategies and tactics of what you need to do if you want to grow a business. Like I said, if you're serious um, and you're committed, I can help you. If you're going to treat your business like a business, this is what you need. If you're going to treat your business like a hobby, then it's going to cost you like a hobby and you're not going to meet your potential. I learned many years ago that business could be the royal road to my financial freedom. That's what I learned. And it, it was correct. You know, I learned this stuff between the ages of 20 and 30. And then I've been continuing up until now. Right. So if um, you want to be part of it, the link is in my bio on Instagram. The link is all over the social media channels that I'm on right now. And that's about it for my presentation. I said I would answer two last questions and then I am going to be off. All right. So, Tom Cox, can a shy or introverted salesperson apply these techniques? Absolutely. There are plenty of shy, introverted salespeople, um, Tom, that um, are just doing the right things, right? And so, um, when you do the right things, your ratio of closing more deals goes up. There are plenty of people who are shy and introverted that do really well but you just need to know what do you need to do. So that's the answer uh, for, your, for you. Uh, Erica Johnson, any tips to stand out as a teacher and psychic medium? Uh, sure, so Erica, show your wisdom, show your genius, show your psychic abilities. Like hop on calls like this and, and do it with people, show people what you do. What have I done for the last hour, right? I've shown you tools, tips, techniques, ideas, a way of thinking and behaving to grow your business, All right? So show them, show them, show them, show them, show them. Don't talk about it, show them. Um, Coach Sunny G, do we recommend daily posts on all social media accounts for a personal trainer? Um, well, uh, it depends on your financial, non-financial ability, but if you created one piece of content, why not just use it on other mediums. Like, why not? So if you can do it, yes. All right. Um, so that's one, that's three questions. All right, I'm gonna answer the last question, okay? That's Arun Nair. How do you do hard things that can be uncomfortable in the short term, but you know you should be doing? Do you have a specific motivational triggers and affirmations that can change your thoughts? Uh, all right. So how do you do the hard things that can be uncomfortable in the short term? Listen, if you're out of shape and you need to exercise, the way you do hard things and uncomfortable at the beginning is do a little bit consistently. So instead of doing something for 30 minutes or an hour, all right, Arun, do something for five minutes and develop the habit. One of the things around habits is that the habit is more important than the intensity or the duration at first. So focus on the habit, then the habit will focus on you. So that's how you do that. And then do you have specific motivational triggers um, and affirmations that can change your thoughts? Well, understand, Arun, that a thought is percolating up from your subconscious mind. Trillions of neural connections and experiences create automatic thoughts and some of the automatic thoughts are negative, known as automatic negative thoughts. We have automatic negative emotions. And what if we were able to be aware of our automatic negative thoughts and then flip it to say a positive thought instead? So what you wanna practice, Arun, is awareness. Awareness of thoughts, emotions, feelings, sensations, and behaviors. And Arun, you want to pick up my book, Inner Size, The New Science to Unlock Your Brain's Hidden Power. Um, that is going to be one of the best books you can get to master your mindset. And um, I don't know how many of you have read my New York Times bestselling book, The Answer About Business Growth. So if you're going to do the challenge, great. I'll teach you a lot of stuff from that's in here. If you're not and you want to invest, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks on a New York Times bestseller, the Stephen Covey said was brilliant, um, you can do that. I've spent 40 years learning and mastering the inner game uh, and mastering the game of business. So 
Sign up for the Business Breakthrough channels. We start tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 o'clock New York, 5 o'clock London. And if you can do the VIP, it'll blow your mind. If you can do the general, it'll still blow your mind. You'll just get access to more of me in the VIP on Zoom. We will be streaming everything. There'll be workbooks, PowerPoints, very organized, very methodical, easy to follow, easy to apply. And more importantly, it'll give you the results that you want faster and easier than ever before. So if you enjoyed this, let me know. And would you mind sharing this? I've invested an hour with you. Uh, would you mind sharing the link to this? I'm going to post this on IGTV and on all the other channels. If you don't mind hitting the uh, share, I would appreciate it. And I will see many of you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Are you excited? How many of you are coming tomorrow? How many of you are coming tomorrow for the Business Breakthrough Challenge? Let me let me know if you are joining me for the Business Breakthrough Challenge. Erica Johnson, the name of the first book is called Inner Size. So that's the first. This is my latest book. Exercise for your body, inner size for your brain. All right. And then my other books, if you like books, my first New York Times bestseller, Having It All. I'm going to have like a, I got a new book coming out later this year. And then my other New York Times bestselling book for business growth is The Answer. All right. So there's, there's some stuff for those of you who like to read or listen. All right. So I see a lot of you are in VIP. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Ron and Phil and Erica and Susan. All right, let's just see. Let me see. Aloha from Hawaii. All right. Madame Daniela, great to have you. Thomas, great to see. So, Vistine, when you sign up for the uh, general admission, it'll then give you a VIP option right after that. All right. And I see a lot of you on Instagram are on. And the link, Nikki, is in my bio on LinkedIn. All right. All right. All right. So great. Thank you for sharing this. Please share this. And I'm glad you like my books and you love this. Uh, like I said, this, this, your, your, your mind around business growth and your own personal growth, um, it'll, you, I, I will expand your awareness and your skills. Uh, Takia, awesome to have you in. As soon as you sign up, you'll get an email. Also check your spam or junk folders. Of course, once you sign up, you'll get a link into the private Facebook community. Lacey, awesome. Um, and um, you'll get a private or an email into our private Facebook community that's already up and running. There's already some videos that I did. And uh, so I look forward to seeing all of you. Hello there, growth hacker. Love it, love it, love it. Have a great day. I'll see many of you tomorrow. I appreciate you. And uh, are you ready to do this? Let's rock this. All right, let's rock this. Business can be so much fun. Um, and um, it's so much easier when you know what the heck to do, right? All right, I'll show you what to do. Awesome, Nadine. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for sharing this too.